All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So today was supposed to be a pretty big day for powerlifting. We had the bench press battle today um, where Julius Maddox was going for the 800-pound all-time world record raw bench press. And originally, I thought this was only going to be an online live stream, but it was live, televised on ESPN. So it got some pretty big airtime, which was good, um, but some bad things happened at this meet. So Julius' first attempt was 722. He gets that, and he gets that pretty easily. 722 um, is about 50 pounds lighter than his current all-time best, which is 770. So he goes for 800 on his second attempt um, rather than his third, which was a good move um, considering what happened. So somehow they managed to misload the bar on the world record attempt for 800 pounds, missing a whole 55-pound plate on one of the sides. So that's a little issue that you see um, during that sep second attempt um, where he's about to uh, unrack the weight. You can kind of see there's a little pause and kind of a disagreement. Um, and then he gets back up again, and they went they went to commercial if you were watching it on ESPN. So here's that clip right here. So I got to say, I think that was a huge, huge mistake. I mean, this is a world record attempt, 800 pound bench press, not to mention, you know, the legitimacy of all this. I mean, how important it is to be accurate with the plates on the weight or the plates on the bar, just how important it is from a legitimacy standpoint, because this is an all time world record on the bench press. So not only did they mess that up entirely, but from a safety standpoint, this man is benching 800 pounds. And to have an imbalance on the bar of an entire plate is just outright dangerous. And frankly, it's, it's, there's no excuse. It's, it's unacceptable. So Julius would go ahead and attempt the 800 pounds on his second and third attempt, um, and he wasn't able to get it. And I do think that this mishap during this second, uh, the second attempt is why he didn't get it. I think if that didn't happen, he might have been able to get that the first time he tried it. So if I were the organizers of this event... I would be kicking myself right now because they really messed this up. Not only, like I said, from a safety standpoint, a legitimacy standpoint, um, but also in front of the whole world watching on ESPN, um, they messed up <laughs> to the biggest audience they possibly could. Um, so not really the best moment for powerlifting um, to be presented on ESPN, a big, important world record attempt. They put the wrong amount of plates on. It's, it's, it's actually crazy to me that this happened. And afterwards, after the weightlifting event, there was a televised cornhole event that was ran more professionally than the weightlifting. So it's things like this. When we have these opportunities to put the sport of powerlifting in front of a large audience like that, you got to do it right. You can't be doing stuff like this, um, especially you know the whole televised uh, live stream world record controversy in the first place. You just can't be doing shit like that. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Honestly, I think it's kind of ridiculous, but let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. And I also should mention here that Julius was injured um, during this attempt, so he was going to come back and try the 800 again after that. So when they had the weight on wrong, they kind of let him regroup a little bit and get up, um, then he kind of reattempted it. So that was technically his second attempt. And he ended up passing on the third attempt, saying he was injured on that second attempt, um, possibly during that mishandling or the misloading of the bar. Um, so definitely ridiculous. It's kind of a tragedy for him. I mean, it just really sucks to see. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did, in fact, enjoy it. And as always, Nick Strength and Power, signing out.